We're starting this video a little different today. No fancy opening, no weird puns, no crazy graphics, no soggy otters or water balloon guys. Nothing. Just me, you, and Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What are you guys laughing about? Oh, nothing. Hey, what was that planet we were learning about again? Uranus? <laughs> Wait a second. Who thought it was a good idea to name a planet Uranus? Well, how this planet got its name is actually pretty interesting. Besides Earth, the Romans named the five planets closest to the sun after their most important gods. At the time, these were the only planets that were bright enough for them to see. Later, when telescopes were used, other planets were discovered. Astronomers decided to continue naming the planets after Roman gods, with one exception, Uranus. <laughs> Uranus was the first planet officially discovered with a telescope. Sir William Herschel found the seventh planet on March 13, 1781, while looking in the night sky for comets. Bethany, you are not going to believe what I just saw. What is it, William? Uranus! What? When it came time to name it, he suggested naming it the Georgium Sidus, a.k.a. George's Star, after his king, King George III. But outside of England, this name was not very well liked. Other names suggested were Herschel, after the man who created it, and even Neptune, which at the time was not yet found. Ultimately, German astronomer Johann Bode named Uranus after an ancient Greek god of the sky. To support Bode's name choice, his colleague named a newly discovered element, Uranium, to back up his friend. I look like I'm allergic to wind. But even though the name Uranus sounds funny, it isn't pronounced the same by everyone. Huh? Famous scientists say the correct pronunciation is Uranus. Early pronunciations of the name include Uranus. And there's also the Greek pronunciation Uranos. I can't wait to read all the comments on how we're pronouncing it wrong. Let's just get it over with. feel right at home with this guy. Why's that? Well, this guy's blue just like you. Wait a second. Maybe there's a bunch of Andes down there. Eh. That's unlikely. You may have heard of gas giants before. These are the planets Jupiter and Saturn. Red spot, red spot, red spot. My favorite number is red spot. What? They're called this because they're mostly made of gas. But Uranus and Neptune are something called ice giants. Part of the reason we call them ice giants is because they actually have a lot of water ice. So while those other gas giant planets are mostly hydrogen and helium, these are predominantly water and other ices. So there's very little chance there's life on Uranus. Oh no! What? You said- Hey, did somebody say helium? Oh no, I hate when he does this. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. DeMeo and I sound like a baby. What? Pooey swoon, I'm gonna be able to go wee wee's in the party and I smell like... Uranus? Yes? Can you tell me more about what you're made of? Of course. Uranus is made of water, methane, and ammonia fluids above what is likely a small, rocky ice center. Its atmosphere is made of hydrogen and helium like Jupiter and Saturn, but it also has methane. The methane makes Uranus blue. Wait a second, I have a ridiculously random question. Me too! Okay, you go first. Okay, if the movie Toy Story is real, then dog toys must have the worst life ever. That's not even a question. Anyway, Roberta, what are cow farts made of? Change the channel now, everyone. We've gone off the deep end. No, for real, trust me. Well, according to my calculations, one of the main gases emitted by cows during their farts is... Methane. Oh my god. What? Don't you see? Uranus and cow farts are technically made of the same stuff. Didn't you hear me before? Uranus is made of more than just- Don't ruin my moment! I wonder if it would smell on Uranus. Well, why don't you ask him yourself? And now for 
our number five hit on the Top 20 Countdown. Written on the back of a napkin, which is really the front of a napkin, because no one knows what side of a napkin is the back, and I love napkins. Here's the smash hit, Bird Pyre. You know about the wolf man and Dracula too. The mommy and the creature from the Black Lagoon. But there's one little monster that's not like the others. He's a vampire bird and he's coming for your mother. Hey, hey, we didn't come here to listen to your weird songs. I just want to know if it smells on you since you're made of some of the same stuff as cow farts. Well, yes. To humans, I would actually smell. Scientists recently discovered clouds of hydrogen sulfide spreading into my upper atmosphere. That's a toxic gas that smells like rotten eggs or someone passing gas. But chances are, no one will ever be able to actually smell me. Why is that? Well, besides the lack of oxygen to breathe, I am extremely cold. In fact, I can reach temperatures as low as negative 370 degrees Fahrenheit. Whoa. Hey, speaking of negative 370, here's the number negative 370 song on our top 20 countdown. An assortment of duck noises by the hit rock band, We Are Not Ducks. Stop! We didn't travel all this way to hear this weird song with duck noises. Yeah. Well, how far are we from home exactly? Let me take a wild guess here. As far as this point, Earth and Uranus are nearly 2 billion miles apart. What? Uranus is so far from the sun that it takes 84 years to do a complete rotation around it. Speaking of number 84, here's the number 84 song in our top 20 case. No! I'm sorry, I just couldn't stand to hear another song about ducks or bird vampires. I'd rather hear sounds coming straight from Uranus. Yes? Can you tell me more about your rings? I thought you'd never ask. Uranus actually has 13 rings. What? Some of the larger rings are surrounded by belts of fine dust, and the outermost ring is made up of ice boulders that are several feet wide. The other rings are made up of mostly ice chunks and rock. Uranus's rings are thin, narrow, and dark compared to the rings of other planets. Scientists believe that the rings may have been formed by the breakup of a small moon. It's not you, it's me. Don't do it. Don't do what? You said Uranus has 13 rings, so next you're gonna go, here's the number 13 song and the blicky blah blah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you would like those songs. Don't worry. From this point forward, I won't play any more weird songs. I promise. Okay, good. The number two song in our top 20 countdown. No! Here's the sleeper hit of the summer by the band Sleeping Sideways with their smash hit, Jump Hawk the Flybird. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that one was pretty good actually. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Hey, speaking of sideways, you look like you're tilted a little bit. Yeah. That's because I am. Uranus has the largest tilt of any planet in our solar system. It spins on its side. This means that one of Uranus's poles is often pointed towards the sun, giving Uranus very long seasons. It's still a mystery why Uranus has such a large tilt, but many astronomers think that Uranus may have been hit by something really big a long time ago and was knocked over on its side. On top of that, Uranus also spins differently than every other planet in the solar system, except Venus. While every planet rotates counterclockwise, me and Venus rotate clockwise. Due to my weird rotation in relation to the sun, I get very different seasons. The sun would shine on parts of Uranus for as long as 42 years, and then it would be dark for another 42 years. I'd ask you how big you are, but I know what will happen. Yeah, and what's that? I'll ask and you'll say a number stating how big you are and then boom, random song plays. Well, here's the number one fact on my size. I am the third largest planet in our solar system. Whoa. I am so big that you could fit 63 Earths inside of me. 
And speaking of 63, here's the number 63 song in our top 20 countdown. Space Rocks! What's that rock on outer space? Great, now you're both doing it. Anyway, Uranus, can't you just tell me how many moons you have? Well, I have 27. And most of them are named after famous characters from the authors Alexander Pope and William Shakespeare. Wait, Willie Shakespeare? I went to school with Willie Shakespeare. He used to wear his pants as a shirt and his shirt as his pants. What? Is that true? Yup, and the neck hole for the shirt would always line up straight with... Uranus! Yes? You've taught us so much, but I have one final question. Well, what is it? To wrap up this video, can you play us the number one song in your top 20 countdown? Of course. Taking the number one spot this week on our top 20 countdown. Oh, no. Debuting on February 25th, 2019. This song features a bird named Herbert and a giant ball of gas. Oh no! Here is My Name is Herbert by my good friend Jupiter. My name is Herbert, I got a bird shirt. I'm licking Sherbert, and I go chirp, chirp, chirp. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you can, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at those names down there. I would really appreciate it. But I especially appreciate my patrons on Patreon. Especially Mr. Nicholas, Miss Kay's third grade class, Creative Devin and Zach T, Leif Anderson Miller, Arthur Watson, Avery L, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Darian Calvin, Ethan Schultz, Ari, a.k.a. R. Tank, Gavin Meidel, Dom and Ollie, Brenton and Cosette, Mrs. Essinger's third grade class, Elijah Robert, Dora and Levi, Emerson Dean, Dean Scandalakis, Gwen, Iggy, Elowin, and Addie, Grayson Kristoff, Nadia and Hannah, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Henry and Lucas Teeple, Audie and Riley Biley, Ethan Grainer, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Aria and Kieran, Kai Kim, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Kerry, Billy, and Mora, Krusty Face, Lennon, McCartney, Jones, Page, Avalon, and Cash, Levi and Trevor Dwyer, Tasso and Leonidas Yant, The Rivard Boys, Matthew and James Mondiello, Evan Lee, Amelia Murray, Jack and Lucas, Michelle and Conrad, Leah and Gavin Clark, Annie and David in Pennsylvania, Wesley C., Harry, Max, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Evan Gray, The Three Ultimate Carbones, Anna Elizabeth Lede, Wyatt Michelle, and Zeno the Shark. Want to get your name in a video? Visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can see my videos early, help me pick my next topic, see behind the scenes videos, and like I said, get your name in a video. Check the description box for a link. Also, I've hidden a coupon code in this video. It's really easy this time. If you find it, you can save money on some stuff from my Teespring store, like this What is Pants shirt, Uranus pillow, Mr. DeMeo Mario Kart shirt, and more. Check the description box for a link. Also, take my Uranus quiz at my Teachers Pay Teachers site. I have a ton of other quizzes and worksheets for my other videos there too. As always, check the description box for a link. And now on to the fan art. I got a ton of art this time. I couldn't include them all, but if you look in the background, you may see yours. I got this one from Elizabeth in Ohio. She drew me my wave guy from my tsunami video. Big fan of him. She even asked if I could do a Uranus video, and boom, I did. I got a ton of art from Miss McKeel's class in Canada, but I really love this chicken parm shark. That was probably the cream of the crop right there. Love the colors on this one. Anyway, send me your fan art to Mr. DeMeo, P.O. Box 58, Keyport, New Jersey, 07735. And maybe I'll put your art in the next video. Thank you for all those cards and letters you've opened up.